Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new field in Salesforce. So to do so, we're going to start by going up to the setup menu, which is the gear icon up in the upper right hand corner. We're going to click on that and then click on setup. From here to create a new field, we're going to have to navigate to a specific object. So for an example, if an end user asks for a Salesforce admin to put a new field on the account object, we would first go to the object manager. So we're going to click on object manager. From here, we're going to navigate to the object that the user wants the new field. In this case, it's the account object. Click on that. To add a new field to an object, we're going to click on fields and relationships. On this list, it shows all the current fields on the object. So to add a new one, we're going to click new. There are several data types that you can select when creating a new field. I'll be going over all the data types in a later video, but for today's video, I'm just going to select the text data type. Click next. So when creating a new field, you're going to need to create a field label. You're going to need to specify the maximum length that you want for this field. So for example, a zip code field. You wouldn't want a zip code to be 20 characters long. So for this field, I'm actually going to create a question where the user will be able to answer via a text input. So the field label I gave this field is, does this account like cloud qualified question mark? The purpose of this field is just to get feedback on the channel. Obviously no user is actually going to put anything because it's just a test example for the maximum length. We'll make it 15. So. If someone wants to answer yes, no, maybe, none of those responses will exceed 15 characters. So you can also put a description as to what the field is for, and you can also provide help text. So I put in a description and help text. The help text will actually show up on the user interface so that when the user is on that field, they'll be able to hover next to it and it'll indicate what the field is for. You can also make this field required or unique. Um, required would make it so that the user can't save the record until they've filled out the field. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. So now this is where you'll establish field level security. As you can see, there's various profiles that are listed. Currently I'm logged in as a system admin, so I'll be able to see this field. You can just check any checkbox for the profiles listed that you want to see this field. You could set it as visible or read only. We're just going to keep it the way it is. So I'm going to click next. And then lastly, step four, you can add it to a page layout. These are all the account layouts present in this Salesforce org. I'm just going to go ahead and add it to all of the layouts and click save. So now if we navigate to the account object, so we'll go up to the app launcher. And then we'll click on the sales cloud. If we go up and click on the accounts tab, it'll bring us to the accounts related list. We'll click this drop down so that we can see all accounts. And then if we select any of the account records here, so I'll just select Burlington textiles. If we navigate to details, You'll see if we scroll down that the does this account like cloud qualified field has been added to this page layout. If we click this little pencil, we can edit this field. As you can see the help text, if you hover over, it says user feedback field. Yes, no, maybe this is what we added when we set up the field. I feel like since I've created this channel, I can only say yes. I do want to add that this help text isn't restrictive. Just because I put yes, no, or maybe, those are just suggestions. Since I put 15 characters long, I could theoretically put another word in here. I could put my name. I really could put anything as long as it's under 15 characters long. So I'm just going to put absolutely. I'm a little biased. Now I'm going to go ahead and click save. So that's really all I had for this video. I just wanted to give a general overview of how to add a field to an object. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.